Hello! Today I'd like to introduce you to the Julia Wine Decanter. It's sometimes lumped into the classic style decanter, but I've also heard it called the Captain's Decanter, which, if you ask me, sounds far more intriguing. Uh, whatever you want to call it, this style of decanter works to bring out the beauty of any wine, old or young. Now, if you're unfamiliar, decanting is a process to help oxygenate wine. And if you're wondering why wine needs oxygen, that's a good question. Oxygen is usually a wine's worst enemy, but when you first pop open a bottle, oxygen and wine actually become really good friends. The process is called aeration, but originally decanting was invented for older wines to help separate the wine from any sediment that had built up over the years. But that's a wine that has been aged for, say, 20 years. Oh, wait, why is there sediment in my wine. Over time, things like yeast cells, uh, grape solids, chemical particles, they accumulate in the bottle. There's no harm in this, but it's not very classy to get to the bottom of your, of your wine glass and find a bunch of little bits in there, or even worse, in your mouth. But that's why wine bottles are shaped the way they are, with this curve and this punt. It's to help trap uh, sediment that's built up as you're pouring. If you've got an older wine and you want to decant it, First, stand it upright for about 24 hours. Let uh, some of that sediment settle to the bottom. Then, as you pour it into the decanter, keep your eye on the neck of the bottle. And as you see, if you start to see any particles building up in here, uh, sl pull back on your pour before they fall into the decanter. And the other great thing that this decanter does is the dramatic slope of the neck here will help catch any other sediment that might have built up. But again, this is talking about older wines, and you really just want to decant it to filter out some of that sediment. You don't want it to sit in the decanter for more than 20 or 30 minutes before drinking it, because older wines, once they're exposed to oxygen, they fade really fast. Now, if a bottle is only two or three months old, it's still pretty fresh. You, you probably don't need to decant it. So whenever you buy a bottle, take it home, set it aside for a few months, months, depending on how old it is, then it's a, a perfect candidate for some uh, decanting. It'll really help bring out the natural aromas and flavors of that wine. Now, for these kinds of wines, it's okay to pour it a little aggressively. Let it splash around in the decanter, let the oxygen get in there and do its thing. It doesn't look very elegant, and you might have some guests looking at you like, what are you doing to that wine? But it's okay. See these bubbles in here? That's perfectly natural. That's a great thing. It means there's lots of oxygen getting in there. This is exactly the process that we want right now. The Julia Wine Decanter can accomplish all of this. It can filter sediment and it can add oxygen to a wine. Plus it looks gorgeous sitting on the dinner table or kitchen counter. The wide spout helps release more of that aroma into the air and should really entice your guests. Now, how long should you let a wine decant? That's a good question, and it kind of depends on the bottle. For something like this, a fairly new bottle of wine, what I suggest is that when you first pop open the bottle, take a sip, see what it tastes like, pour it into the decanter, come back in 20 minutes, take another sip. This way you can experience the evolution of the wine and appreciate its flavors as they kind of grow and change sitting in the decanter. Cleaning the decanter is simple and easy. Clean it as soon as possible after use. Leaving wine in your decanter will allow stains to build up, so you don't want to do that. Never let wine sit in the decanter overnight. So immediately after use, fill the decanter with lukewarm water and let it soak until you're ready to clean. It is not recommended that you use boiling water. Decanter cleaning balls or a decanter cleaning brush can be used if there is any dried or hard sediment built up. If you don't have any cleaning tools or maybe your brush won't fit through the neck of the decanter, here's a little cleaning hack for you. Just fill it with a little bit of lukewarm water, add a few drops of dish detergent, and put a cup of rice in there, white rice. Swirl it around and that, that rice will act as a gentle abrasive to clean the bottom of the decanter. Rinse it out, turn it upside down to dry, and you'll be good to go. The versatility of the Julia wine decanter makes it a highly practical addition to your kitchen, regardless of what wine you're drinking. The hand-blown glass and elegant design lends a touch of sophistication that's sure to impress.